Okay, so looks like we're going to be jumping right into it. I'll try to get, um, try to see exactly what the journey was for them um, after so that's done. But okay, going to FD. True way to have fight it out with two Fire Emblem characters here. Definitely uh, two characters that got significantly buffed. Uh, probably the best buffed. iterations ever. Although, you said, that being said, I feel like since the game's come out, Roy's been upward in a meta, and Ike has... No, I, with, I, I don't without a doubt, yes. Yeah, I don't want to say deteriorated. No, he has. Um, to a point. It's not like the character got worse, but no. it's, it's more like people figured him out a little bit. It's yeah, like I very mean, early meta killer. Yeah, the, the biggest thing about Ike is that he is all he has always been in every single iteration of Smash a very, very, very basic fundamentals based character. And then um, in the beginning of this game, everybody made his game around neutral, <laughs> yeah. as we're seeing right here still. And like when you, you make that your one game, one and only game plan, then it becomes really easy to find out what he's trying to do, telegraph where he's going and all that stuff. So, yeah. um, you know, you just got to use more of his tricks because like, you know, Nair's not the only option he has, uh, despite what you might see on screen. <laughs> um, I don't even think it's tricks. I think it's just uh, mixing up uh, different aerials because oh, yeah, you exactly. use the same move over and over and over again. But I feel I feel like that's the Ikes like now that are doing well. Is, that's exactly what they do. Like they don't only use Nair. Yeah. I know because Falco's like in a similar situation where like up till people are starting to figure that out. Oh yeah, people are spamming that on Yeah. <laughs> oh, I was, but like. Oh wow. <laughs> what's really funny about that is that I, I'm pretty sure Goblin and Red. The high recovery. Oh, he did. He did. But he, he got got. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's hard to interrupt because that's a decent hitbox that, that Ike throws out when he side Bs there. The other thing, too, is you have to throw out the hitbox a little preemptively to get it, or unless you have a counter. That's the only time you can react to that. And that's what's going to be tough about uh, playing Ike in this matchup. That jab, the back air, is going to work a lot easier and for a lot longer just because it's a big body. The, the bigger thing that's hard for Ike is that his out of shield options aren't quick unless Roy ends up behind him. His back air is super fast. Nair is pretty slow, despite the, the speed buffs that it did get. So, you know, the, depending on how Goblin Man hits his shield will determine how easy it is for him to get a punish on him. Okay, so there's a pretty good opening. Yeah, Waldo kind of waiting there trying to see if Goblin would go out an air dodge or something, but. Goblin doesn't bite. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it's just it comes down to like that aerial frame data that he's got. Like it's it's really really hard for Ike to try to stuff out Roy. Like you have to get a pretty good read in order to open him up. And then um, you know even if you're on the ground, you kind of have to wait for Roy to approach you in some form and kind of be able to space around that. But even then, your dash speed and everything isn't exactly the best. You can't really, I feel like you can't really press forward as like against Roy because not only is it harder to space your aerials that way too, like you just saw just then, the reason he got hit by that jab was because uh, he was holding forward as, as he pressed it forward air. And because of that, he was right in Roy's sweet spot, uh, which set up the jab to back air. Yeah. You want to stay like right outside that range where you get, you know, the poopy out uh, soft hit. Mm -hmm. That does not that it doesn't lead into anything, but you know, yeah. requires a lot more from the Roy to, to actually get anything solid. So we're getting the the gut skin up now, so definitely shouts to that. But um, honestly, for a matchup like this, I want to see Waldo play with his back more towards Roy, just so that way you have access to that back air. Because when you do, you're gonna actually be able to react to a Roy coming into you. And the other thing too is like depending on what percentage they're at, it sends you at a pretty horizontal angle. So you might be able to like kind of lead into tech situations on a stage like this. You might be able to lead it into a good platform phase. So especially if you're somebody like Ike, that's going to be what you're looking for. Yeah. So far, like this is this is Waldo's counter pick, but so far it's not working out too well for him. Uh, so far, it's been Goblin Man who's kind of just been using the platform to extend his combos and keep Ike up in the air. Yeah. I would say so far, uh, Waldo's doing a much better job just because, like, the percent disparity that you see there, th that's all you kind of really need to get, like, Roy into somewhat kill percent, um, at least as far as Ike's concerned, just because you at least do have consistent kill confirms into that up there. Probably yeah. trying to get a something a little cheeky there. Ooh, First that was enough. just a side B into down air. Yeah. Probably, you know, it gets out a lot of people DIing in there, so definitely be, be ready for that. The other thing too is we haven't seen an eruption attempt from um, 
Waldo to beat out um, the Blazer, which is something that he might want to try doing. Yeah, you would think that'd be really good in this match, especially with Roy, who doesn't, like... No, he's got nowhere else to go. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's weird because Roy got better in this game, but, like, the one move that got worse, for whatever reason, is his upbeat. It's still really good, though. It, yeah, but I don't know why, but, like, it snaps worse yeah. in this game. Like, um, every so the ledge snap that universally changed for every character for the most part. Only certain moves still ledge snap really well, so like, that's why it's much easier to like two no, frame I, characters I, like mine. I, I know, but there's some kind of weird property, Roy, where if you if you do like the fully horizontal up B, mm -hmm. it just doesn't like really snap. It's like interesting. It's like the weirdest thing. All right, I have to look more into what you're talking about. Yeah, it's really weird, which sucks because that kind of takes away like a mix up for him. Yeah, makes him have to go like either low or high, but not in between. Ooh. And that was actually. <laughs> yeah, that. I mean, I know he was trying to parry him, but oh man, that was almost the ultimate price. <laughs> Check the situation. Good. He guesses right. Waldo texts in. I. Yeah. That was really smart. Yeah. He's he's been trying to intercept that all set. And he's like, you know what? I keep losing in valve hitboxes, so let me just use my counter. And I mean, that's that's what you want to do against Eruption. You know, if he holds it, he's going to ledge. You don't lose. You do not lose in that position right there. So good stuff to Goblin. Definitely keeping his uh, Ike technology on deck, knowing how to counter him when he needs to.